My name is Courtney Schmitz and this is my audience. Not many can say that they left a footprint on the world after they have died. Well, that is exactly what Anne Frank did. Once her diary was found, she was a worldwide star. One girl can truly change the world. Annalise Marie Frank died at 15 years old of typhus. She endured a long time in the concentration camps in the 1940s, and every single member of her family was killed except one, her father Otto. Her diary and her spirit, however, did not die. Her diary told the story of her time in captivity while she was hiding from the Nazis. Anne Frank left a lasting legacy. Even though she didn't make it through, she fought when she, she died, and her name didn't die either. First, Anne Frank was courageous. Biography.com talks about how the times only got harder once the Nazis came into effect. The Nazis occupied Germany. They occupied the war first, and then the Germans arrived. They were forced in, um, Anne and her sister were forced into Jewish segregated schools. They were also forced to wear the yellow Star of David to tell that they were Jewish. They hid for two years in her house and never even went outside the whole two years. Another quote, another source, also from Biography.com, talks about the quotes in her diaries that reveal a lot about her. During her time in the captivity, they were living in harsh conditions and didn't have a whole lot to do. But she had this quote to say about, about it. Despite everything, I believe that people are really good at heart. And that's hard to believe when the Nazis forced her into hiding for two years and were killing people just because of their hair and eyes. She was determined to be strong and live on, and that was proved in this quote, that the weak die out and the strong will survive and live on for forever, just like her soul did. Anne was courageous. Her mind was said that she could do whatever she wanted to do. She was a bright young lady and handled the cards that she was dealt with with wit. With a mind like that, she was very smart. With a wise mind, it was not unnoticed. Second, Anne Frank was talented. Lois Metzger wrote an article in 2004 in the magazine StoryWorks. It talked about Anne and her overall life and school and talents at school. She remained studious while she was hidden in this room with eight other family members and friends. She studied languages, history, science, and, some, and geometry. And even though she hated geometry, she still did it. She had this to say about geometry. I simply ref refused to do that wretched math every day. But no matter how crammed they were with the eight other people living in a very small space, and no matter how much she hated it, she still studied every single morning. Biography.com also talks about the contents of the diary and how they reveal her talents. She had quotes from fa her favorite authors, original stories, and she even started to write a novel about her times in captivity there. The author had this to say about Anne. This teenage girl was blessed with creativity, wisdom, and the depth of emotion and rhetorical power far beyond her years in her young teenage years. Anne Frank was talented. She continued to work in a tiny space and continued to work on her brain and her knowledge and to gain knowledge. What she wrote then continues on today to influence literature and inspire many. And that leads to my third point, that Anne still inspires today. The World Literature Today artic the World Literature Today wrote an article or had an article by Katherine Wilson, who got her doctoral graduate at the University of Wisconsin. She's also an instructor at Auschwitz Institute for Peace and Reconciliation. It talks about how her diary is read in most schools today in America as part of their literature and how lucky kids are today. They don't, we don't have to hide out because of our hair color or our eye color or how much people don't like us. It gave us a peak of life and it helps us to be grateful for what we have today. And it inspires many to achieve no matter what they have to deal with and what they have to be through. ProQuest has the article by Lois Metzger and it also talks about how the diary lasted through her whole experience and how the guards didn't take it or find it when they were going through her house. Somehow it like, managed to last through the whole time. The story made it to be found in, in her diary. It talked about how one of her biggest wishes was to become a writer. 
and that wish was suddenly cut short when she died at the young age of 15. But it did, however, come true in 1947 when her diary was published, after it was found. Her writings were a voice for millions of the lives lost in the Jewish times. And still inspires today. Her diary made it through torture. Her diary made it through the torturous times of her being hidden, and it helped to tell a story. All of these characteristics. Why not? Why not have a toast to Anne Frank? At the young age of 15, of a gruesome death of typhus, she left a lasting legacy. If you died at 15, would you have a story to tell? Would you? Would your diary be published worldwide in over 60 different languages? Even though Anne died so young, she left a lot to tell. She not only left a story, but a picture and a glimpse on life in captivity. Anne Frank is and will continue to be a lasting legacy. Anne is courageous, Anne was talented, and Anne still inspires today. Thank you.